Hello, welcome everyone. Hello. Uh, I got asked to come up and can you give a presentation on the mascots of Fission? Uh, <laughs> so uh, I quickly ran around and gathered a bunch of these. Um, and uh, why do we have a bunch of mascots and stickers? I believe, it's not a common belief, but I believe that developers are people too. They have hopes and dreams, and they connect with things in the real world, not behind a screen. Um, and oftentimes developers are seen as hard to market to or allergic to marketing. I think this is true to a certain extent, is that uh, kind of cutting through a lot of like fluff. Um, but the fact is that really there's lots of things that developers are interested in uh, and highly passionate about. Programming languages, frameworks, or technologies can be like sports teams uh, for developers. Uh, I heard someone say this the other day, that laptop stickers are like prison gang tattoos. Uh, I need to figure out who exactly said that so that I can, I can credit them. Um, uh, I have had, I am not a pristine laptop person. I'm definitely, I'm now on my second layer. So apologies if I have stuck a more recent sticker over a logo that, uh, that you like. So Fission started, um, uh, Fission in its current incarnation uh, started in 2019. Uh, and in December of 2019, we connected with um, illustrator Bruno, who's actually now on the Fission team full time. Um, and we just wanted kind of some like fun illustrations. Maybe we'll use them in docs. Uh, and we we're kind of doing some, some trial work around that. So we had this like, give us like a diverse set of aliens, you know, fixing a spaceship, AKA, you know, building a web framework that might actually do something someday. Uh, and then we had some in jokes in our discord. And at some point, um, uh, I talked about how I was a Haskell lizard meaning that I don't really know Haskell. Uh, and, uh, uh, and from there, we created a few other characters that representing a few things from, uh, from, from Haskell. Um, and uh, uh, we did some work in the past um, around in the Ethereum community. Uh, this is run DMC. You kind of see it lots of places uh, remixed in different ways. Um, I have a really expensive a uh, $500 badly printed run EVM shirt because I bought it from the Ethereum Foundation uh, when ETH was at a different price. Uh, I have a couple of these around. Um, uh, Dietrich showed me that he actually just took a Sharpie and turned it into run FVM, so that works as well, kind of fun. Uh, and I've been stopped by people who like run DMC who are like, cool shirt, and then they're like confused because they're like, wait. And then a lot of people who are really passionate about the EVM lose their minds and go, where do I get this? And I go, here's a sticker, no problem. And also you can print it yourself, but very often people don't. I'd like to get us to get better at that and uh, distribute sticker printing, because that's something we can do. Um, UCAN was the first protocol uh, that we pushed out the door. Um, and uh, for us, we think that like making a mascot, so this isn't a logo, um, there's a subtle difference between these two things. One, it like doesn't say you can on it anywhere. You just have to recognize that you can Sam uh, is the uh, is technically, I guess, the original TypeScript you can implementation, uh, and a nod to Google's um, Macaroons paper. Again, this is like lore that's like eight levels deep. Um, um, and then, of course, we needed sort of a, a reclining you can Sam, and when it came time to specify our handshake protocol for linking devices with, uh, with UCANs, uh, awake, so uh, a highly caffeinated UCAN SAM. Um, and of course we said, hey, if you do an implementation of the spec, obviously we'll make you a sticker and a mascot as well. So uh, Brendan from the N0 team was the first one. He did a Go implementation of UCAN. So we took, of course, the famous gopher uh, and said, how do we indicate that it's in the same family I know, we'll just put a you can beak uh, and macaroons on there. Um, and uh, there followed, of course, the Rust implementation by the New Sphere team and the Web3 storage Daghouse team is with you can uh, uh, IPLD. Uh, so really fun to show these things are connected in, in the same family. Uh, 
The other thing is developer memes. Uh, so snake case is when you do naming with underscores. Screaming snake case is when you do all caps. Uh, and this is different in different variables. Uh, so Bruno, uh, to Bruno I said, okay, I'm sending you a Spotify playlist of some Vaporwave and I want like a snake. Uh, like I explained the background to him, he's not a developer, he's like, sure, whatever. Uh, and this came back and I've been delighted by this. Um, and uh, um, my barber uh, has a bunch of these stickers and he loves them and he has no idea about the developer meme and that's totally fine. We want these things to uh, represent emotions and be attached to them and, you know, see other people like, wait, you've got one of those. Uh, yak shaving is one um, that a lot of people, turns out, haven't heard of. Um, that's, I think it's one of those like old guy memes um, that I'm sharing with you now. Uh, it's when you have like a set of things that you have to do and you, you know, open your laptop and it's like update available and you do the update and then like three applications need updates and something is broken and you've like spent half a day before you can actually do the thing that you were trying to do. That's yak shaving. Kebab case, again, in the theme, very different thing. Hey Bruno, I'm thinking like 80s graffiti that represents something like this. And oh my God, this is lovely, it's juicy, I want more of these. Uh, so working with Bruno has been really great, working with an illustrator, start with a brief, talk about what you're trying to accomplish, um, and then just kind of like, um, a really great designers can work with you and, and, and go like, yes, we can put something together. Uh, this is an elm owl. Uh, if you look carefully, the scarf represents the elm logo and a few things. I couldn't, the, this blank space, we have a Japanese elm owl that we put together with some, some uh, um, Japanese icon iconography uh, for the elm community in Japan that we we're doing with something like that. So also remixing uh, for different cultures and communities in different ways. Uh, this is uh, Winnie uh, representing WinFS. Um, does anyone else have the Corgi socks or Corgi stuffy from Filecoin? Amazing. So a few of us were chatting and if Filecoin is dogs, maybe IPFS is cats, kind of a cat girl meme kind of thing. I'm just putting it out there. Um, Wallet off is uh, um, a protocol that we put together uh, that connects into UCAN so you can use a blockchain key on a blockchain wallet uh, to create accounts. So this is Wally Wallet Auth. Um, and some of these things can, again, spread as we like, you know, Wallet Auth for Ethereum, for Filecoin, for Solana, et cetera. Um, so to show like visual connections between things. Uh, we do do uh, logos uh, and mascots for other people. Uh, so that is uh, Cappy Loon, a capybara with a loon looking at a Cappy Loon powered smartphone. Uh, right there. Um, Cypher Chunker is for the N0 team uh, who put together a custom chunker. Uh, so a, a Shiba Inu who looks a little cyber. Um, I don't even remember what a Claire is anymore. Uh, 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 someone that hangs out in our Discord and is into a lot of uh, compiler and uh, data log work. And we said, you know, this is great. We love what you're doing, how we put one of these together. A uh, stork search is a WASM powered search for static sites. Uh, and that was someone who, uh, a speaker who came and did a tech talk with us. And I said, hey, thank you. Uh, it's great that you're doing this little indie project. Can we make you a logo? And he was overjoyed because he didn't know how to do um, a brief, didn't have access to an illustrator, was super pleased with the output of it. Just so also saying like, there's lots of different ways to give back to open source projects in different ways. And this might be one of them. Uh, Headless Ghost and the TiddlyWiki project, uh, these aren't very widely used. Uh, our uh, blog runs on Ghost, so we have a nice um, database-backed interactive application that we can edit stuff and uh, everyone uh, from me to developers can write blog posts. Uh, and it's headless because we then take it, uh, bake it into a static site and publish it to IPFS. Uh, so that's a pattern and uh, so we wanted to represent that like headless CMS kind of thing. TiddlyWiki, super cool, um, serverless, uh, uh, interactive one-page application. Uh, they actually are in, uh, PeerGoss has, has enabled them as well. Uh, so remixing it, you, you can see like 
the Fission logo from like three designs ago as a little batch on the, on the patch there. Um, so protocol icons are, are a slightly different thing, but you can, of course, have fun with them in different ways uh, as well. Uh, so this is the HTML5 icon. And if you look, there's the like CSS icon, the SVG icon, and JavaScript um, that are in like a former, uh, a familiar like uh, style language. I have been doing these kind of re remixes for a really long time. Uh, when HTML5 was something that you actually like gathered around and said that you were gonna like upgrade to, uh, so this is the HTML5 Canadian coat of arms that I had printed on a red T-shirt. Um, so there you go, a polar bear, a moose, and a beaver, and HTML5. Uh, so yes, I have heard from the people that they're like, ah, oh, mascots, super, super fun. Pause. Can you just make some hexagon-shaped stickers, please? Uh, I hear you. There's IPFS in there as well. Um, we are working on some protocol icons. So the challenge of some of these things, so mascots are something you can gather around um, and be a lot of fun and, and don't, uh, don't have to be highly on brand, right? Very subtle, uh, sometimes too subtle because it's like, what is this, right? We, we put ucan.xyz or fission.codes as lettering on some of these mascots so that people can go like, oh, okay, this, I can learn more here. For protocol icons, over time, they have to represent something across a large set of things uh, and be somewhat more neutral, basically. Um, so we're working on the protocol versions of um, UCAN, WinFS, and IPVM because they're not ours. You know, Fission works on them, but we actually, each of those specs have other, had other organizations and people work on them as well. And ideally, we want to see thousands and millions of you can WinFS and IPVM powered sites and projects. So we'll work on that. That's what's up next for us. Um, if you would like to have some fun logos, I've also done lots of work in a very basic way. Uh, we have um, a, um, uh, uh, an e-commerce shop where we have some print on demand, not for stickers. I haven't found good quality for that, but you can get screaming snake case t-shirts and other stuff like that. And of course, our swag shop has a mascot. Uh, this is the swag lizard uh, who graces uh, shop.fission.codes. And that's it for me. Any questions? Um, it would be so cool if uh, kids in school can learn programming with some comics that are made out of these mascots. Uh, absolutely, right? And I think, again, I think there's that, that opportunity for cultural re remixing. Uh, that's uh, something that, that I'd like to get to uh, as a community. So, um, you know, we didn't necessarily make Brussels-flavored mascots of, of anything, but is that something else that we can also visually represent where everyone who's like, oh, you were at the thing. Uh, I actually have a Iceland Reykjavik sticker. Again, there's not a lot of other things on that. And I'm like, what does this mean, Uni? She's like, I have no idea. I'm like, it's probably casting a spell. It's fine. Um, and that might be something to work ahead and get some designers together, uh, you know, not just contributing code, but can we activate more culture? Uh, you know, so could we actually uh, do some design competitions ahead of Bangalore? Sounds like an IPFS camp track. Have you explored with Midjourney to generate some of these icons? Uh, we have not, uh, although at the same time I say that, and uh, um, so Philip and the N0 team uh, hacked together some very cool stuff with uh, Iro and WinFS uh, yesterday, and then Brooke used Midjourney to make a sky buffalo. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, so I will I will share that it's it's a sky buffalo that has five legs, um, so that's a little awkward, but I'm sure it's fine. <laughs>